today I'm going to be showing um, the people who have sent me emails and wanted me to show them some of the embroidery work that I do. And so this is going to be a video. Um, it's not a how to embroidery. It's how I embroidery to fulfill my customers orders. And so that you can see the quality and detail that's involved. So I've got a 40 by 60 um, what we call our throws and they're made by uh, Gildan and it's just a sweatshirt material and I buy these in big lots and then um, I stitch them, customize them and then I put them up on the website um, and we do these for companies with logos that are doing retirement gifts we do these for a police and fire department um, I've also given several away um, for when police and firemen run upon a situation where they need blankets and we customize them um, with different things to help you know encourage and give love to those who are in need um, but we do sell them and they're great gifts um, our main customers for these types of throws are going to be sororities and any kind of athletics or schools um, that want to do gifts, uh, teachers appreciation gifts. I mean, the sky's the limit. Um, and at Christmas time, we do a lot of blankets. So um, I'm going to show you how we do it. So um, I've got the blanket here. I'm going to put that aside because I have to prep the hoop. And what I've got here is a piece of. Uh, tear away in the embroidery world. This is just a backing that needs to go on the back of this so that the stitches will hold on to the thread, you know, the stitches will hold on to the blanket. And these hoops are fairly old and I've, they're used a lot, so please don't think these are dirty. They're not dirty, they're just full of lint from other projects that I've worked on. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, make sure that the backing is in the hoop. I don't hoop blankets if I don't have to hoop them because it leaves marks that are kind of tough and it requires a lot more work to get the creases out before I ship the items. So you got to have a little pressure on this. And then what I'm going to do is just take off the excess. You don't need this excess and it will get in the way of uh, the machine doing a, a lot of work. And take all that away so it looks really clean and so what we have here is just the hoop and the backing it's just you know should be really straight and taut and not loose and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with some um, this is just a really wonderful spray it's 505 um, it's just a temporary fabric um, adhesive and it washes away in the washing machine, but it'll keep these blankets on the hoop without making them fall off or slip or anything like that. So, I'm gonna hold it up. And then what I'm gonna do is this blanket, um, this particular design is on, um, most of the throws that we do, the designs are not in the middle of the blanket, they're on the corners. So, I'm gonna find a good corner to put this on and I always avoid the one with the care label just because people like to know how to wash etc etc okay. this isn't my regular work table but it was the table that was easiest um, for showing this video <laughs> I have a little um, active, active um, do not disturb thing over here and it just went off because I touched it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my corner is in the corner of the, I've got a little mark here, you may, may not be able to see it, but it's a little indention where it shows me the middle of my hoop. And I'm going to make sure that my corner is here in the middle of this. going to press this down so that it's really really taut and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it so it just gives me some extra security that you know this is not going to slip around
a pen here and then I'm going to put another pen on the edges. And then I'm going to take another pen and put another pen on the other side. And then I would put a pen that's going to be on the top up here just to make sure that, you know, it doesn't slip this way. So I'm just going to lift it up to get my pen in there real well. Now this is going to be a pretty large graphic that I have on here. Um, it's a school mascot. So it's going to be sitting in the corner going, you know, perpendicular this way, horizontal, or lateral. It's going to be going this way up and down on the corners. And so I'm going to be putting my hoop in this way into the machine. And so this is going to be in the front next to my waistline because that's how I kind of judge how things are going to go. So I'm going to, I'll be right back. I'm going to go set up the camera next to my embroidery machine so you can see it actually um, me getting it ready to stitch out. So we'll be back. Okay everyone, I've got my hoop set on my machine and I've got it completely threaded and I've used the camera feature on uh, I'm using a baby lock enterprise and I've used the camera feature to find my center of my graphic and um, the graphic is unique. Uh, it really doesn't have a center but it's going to be kind of um, off kilter a little bit because it's it's going to be animals and they're stacked on top of each other uh, or they're standing on each other and so it's gonna need to be sort of cattywanka anyway so this particular um, embroidery is going to take uh, probably it says 81 minutes uh, but it could take uh, an hour and a half depending on how many stops along the way if the thread messes up or if my bobbin runs out or anything like that to stop this, this this from happening in the time frame I'll go ahead and tape the first um, few sets of stitches and then I'll show you the last half of the stitches and then I'll take it apart and break it down and we'll show you the finished product. Otherwise this video would be extremely long. So let's get started. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the little ears and their little tongues and I've got it in a very light pink on this royal blue so it's going to really pop off. I'm um, going to go ahead and start the machine and it will get kind of loud so if you want to mute your video um, feel free to do so. The longest part is really the setup. So. graphic is complete and it's really really cute it has some little raccoons that are stacked upon each other and what I'll go through here and do is um, I'll clip off what we call the jump stitches and there's very few jump stitches on this graphic and uh, it's ready pretty much for our customer we even have room if they wanted to personalize it to put text here, text here, or across the top. So, we do lots of custom work, and pretty much if you send an image to us, we can digitize it and turn it into stitches. So, um, we've got some trim work to do here on the backing. And this is called tear away, so it easily tears away. And um, so it looks real professional. There's no, um, there's none of that 
yucky homemade looking, you know, backing that's squared off. And I'm um, just going to trim it up. And if you would wash this, um, I always suggest everything that, you know, we touch to be hand washed and low heat dried on the first wash. And um, it's ready for sale or ready to be delivered to our customer. So these are very large blankets. They're oversized. They're not a cheap filling blanket. They're very thick. They feel just like a sweatshirt. Um, that you probably have in your closet. Just trimming all the threads off of here so that they don't itch anybody or pull on anything. So, and then I'll get a, a rolly lint brush and clean that up. But these are really, really cute blankets that you know anybody would be proud to have even as a beautiful little baby gift or school this is for a school mascot where I live this is one of the mascots for the high school so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you'll shop at our website at northtexastees.com um, my blog is on potspansandpioneers.com and um, that's how we do embroidery around here. So thanks Karen and Linda for sending me in your request and wanted to see some of my work. I also do applique. So maybe I'll do another applique, uh, do an applique video at another time. We've got Halloween coming so I'll be doing lots of big fat puffy pumpkins and lots of really pretty items. Kitchen towels and towels and stuff like that to put on the website. Anyway, everybody have a great day, blessed, and give me a thumbs up, and share and like, uh, subscribe to my videos. Everybody have a great day.